Dragon DS here, welcome back to my Peterborough United crew mode. I want to say thank you very much for joining. Guys, let's smash 200 likes. Push that like button, thumbs it up, and do as many thumbs up as you possibly can. Also, with the transfer window open now, we are looking into a lot of players, and we do actually request some funds this particular episode. We are looking into bringing in Pedersen. The reason why is because he is 73 rated, right? and he will be an absolute quality player for our team if we can buy him in. But if we don't succeed, we will go in and buy, try and buy someone else. Um, honestly, positions that we need to improve, um, probably another... Um, midfielder and possibly another prolific goal st scorer. That's the thing where I think we put ne really need to improve. Um, that's kind of players I want, but in lack of position wise, um, is left handed size. Like we need a left back and we need a uh, left midfielder, but we do have replacements here. Like we can play a centre back there that we've been using recently. It was actually done very, very well. And also we can play uh, like. Many years lying and stuff playing left mid and whatnot, but we will have a look and see who we can bring in. That's kind of one of the main reasons we want to bring in Pedersen because he can play on that left hand side. He might actually be pretty slow, but he does do very, very well. But uh, before I go ahead, guys, make sure you drop a video a like. And I do have a common question of the day and tell me your favorite player in your career mode. So we'll be highly appreciated. We'll be interested to see who's actually standing out. And while you're down there, guys. Make sure you suggest some players that I should buy. We will possibly have around two million to spend. Actually, um, we have about a twenty grand wage. Possibly at one point six million, we'll be able to spend on a player. Not sure how many people are going to be going out, but hopefully, we can sign a, few, a player or two in the in the transfer window. And also, last episode as well, you may notice we did have. A new, a new player coming to the side, but that wasn't from the transfer window. It was actually from our youth academy. We do end up drawing that game. Nil, nil. Pretty disappointing result, but oh well. What can you do? But uh, as I was just mentioning, we did have someone come in. A lot of transfer offers as well for Taylor. Constantly is like... Is he is a very good form at the moment, and uh, also Loto's going out on loan. So a lot of players going out on loan, which is good for us. And then a lot of them can develop because they're not actually starting. And uh, such as Anderson, he's inconsistent. But anyway, we do ask, can we have a million? We got fight for promotion and reach a quarterfinal of a cap. I think we could have got a little bit more than that. I think we could have pushed two million. Um, should have really considered it. But if we do get promoted, I probably will request some more funds. Um, but. Uh, the offer for Pedersen was unacceptable, so hopefully we can uh, kind of lure them around a little bit and say, I want this player, can we have this player, and just see what we can happen. And also, uh, um, Holovic is looking to join our side. We're looking to sign him. A lot of you guys actually suggested him to our team, and we did try to sign him in the summer, but unfortunately couldn't actually sign him whatsoever, which is a massive downside, but hey, Oh well, what you gonna do? Um, but yeah, make sure you suggest some players in the comments below. I want to bring in Sol Zano, um, but I'm not too sure if our deal will actually go ahead just yet. I don't think we really need a striker that badly. But Sol Zano was insane. I think we could do a scout report on him and have a quick look into him next episode. To be fair, and uh, I'm gonna have a look for left mid. So guys, if you can suggest some left midfield players. For around uh, 1.5 million, something like that. Uh, but anyway, we get a penalty given against us here. And the thing that bugged me, I didn't actually slide. Um, I didn't actually press the button. But anyway, they do end up missing Fleetwood Town. They do end up hitting the post. That kind of frustrated me quite a bit. I was like, what the hell happened? Um, I didn't even press the X button to slide. But anyway, we answer back straight away. Um, even though we didn't concede it, we make it 2-0. 27 minutes gone against Fleetwood Town. And it was an amazing goal. McCann could be leaving in the January transfer window for a replacement for Pedersen. But uh, will Pedersen join us? He is joining to a League One team and he will be leaving uh, Champions League football, I think. I think he's playing in the German League at the moment. Or uh, So, yeah, kind of will we actually sign him? Not too sure. But anyway, we're going into the second half and uh, also suggest some left-back players that I could even consider bringing in on loan. So I'm not too sure who I can actually bring in. Uh, Luke Shaw could have been possibly an option, but I think his wage will be a little too much. I don't think we really need him. I think we could possibly sign someone down our left-hand side. Even though our left-back at the moment is doing very, very well, it's the fact that we need replacements. We need to bring someone in. So he doesn't necessarily have to be that good. He just needs to be a left-back player and a left -back field player. But what a goal by Griffiths. 62 minutes in. I am so surprised this went in, but OP near post 
is back. And uh, look at that. It was a curved shot. It was a curved shot. So go around the goalkeeper. And uh, they say goalkeepers have improved, but the good thing with goalkeepers, they know exactly overpowered all the time. Sometimes they are, and then sometimes they're not. But anyway, Griffiths on the ball now. Lovely ball by McCann. They've been linking that very, very well. He's going to go for the shot. 83 minutes in, and it's just wide of the post. What can he do there? Pretty disappointed, and we should have scored. And we do end up winning that game 3-1. A massive, massive result in the league. Let's have a quick look at the league table in just a moment. Griffiths. There, McCann with man of the match. So the rest of the final scores are on the ground. 2-1 to Warsaw, 2-2 Bristol City and Colchester, 1-1 one, one, Rochdale, Crawley Town, 1-0 Crew Alexandra. But anyway, uh, Morgan's Pedersen is officially going to join us. Unfortunately, we can't offer him the 20 grand wage at the moment. So we do offer him a little less to see if he actually will accept that offer. Um, but anyway, here is the league. We are now top of the table again. Two points clear with six losses under our belt. So we are in a very, very good season. So a long way to go just yeah, because we only play 20 odd games. Um, but anyway, will we end up getting promoted? A lot of you guys did think we was going to get win the league. But if you are yet to actually post a comment on when you think I'm, where you think I'm going to finish, let me know in the comments below where you actually think I'm going to finish. And while you're down, make sure you drop the video like, guys. And don't forget to tell me what players I should buy in this January transfer window. But... Yeah, we are now cracking in the team. There was a little change of personnel. Uh, dropping McCann, even though he did play a very, very good two games. But he is too tired to actually play. But anyway, we got to burn on the ball. And nothing prevails of that. But anyway, um, they're on the attack now. Jinnan, ball goes through. And he do end up putting in the back of the net. And what a finish. I can fit does actually play for this side. But I don't think he's starting. But what a finish from the striker. Let's have a quick look in some replay of this. He does him inside out. The play beforehand was just amazing. And that is 1-0. Gillingham and they do have a corner. 21 minutes in. The ball comes in. We get rid of it. The ball drops now. Mavoto trying to get rid of it. But drops to an attack. A loft on the ball. Goes to the shot. And it's through the legs of the goalkeeper. What a disappointing uh, goal to actually concede. Couldn't believe that even went in. But anyway, Griffiths on the ball. Now we get a chance. Griffiths with the shot with the goal. To make it 2-1. The comeback is on. 30 minutes in. Will we prevail and get the result that we need and turn this game around? It looked like Griffiths was actually going to miss it. But didn't miss it after all. And he does slide. And it's 2-1. And just we're going into the second half now. Gillingham. On the tag, good save from the goalkeeper. And they end on the tag again, good slide tackle. But anyway, we can't get rid of it. He do end up putting it into the back of the net. A fumble, a shambles of a defence there from uh, Peterborough United. What the hell is going on there? But anyway, Griffiths on the tag now. He's touching on his left hand side, goes to the shot, and it goes wide of the post. That seems what it seems to be at the moment. A little helping hand there, and it's just see, he's going to need a helping hand to win this game. Uh, but we get another chance now. Payne on the ball. Anderson to Griffiths. Griffiths with a shot. Good save. And it's just off the post. Could have been out and warm to us in the other game. But it doesn't. And they do end up prevailing. And they do end up winning that game 3-1. And it was just a disappointing result. And that was actually a cup game. So we've been knocked out of the cup. And I think we are knocked out of all tournaments now. And not 100%. I think we are actually knocked out of all tournaments other than the league. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Welsh Andy and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.